How's everybody doing? Let me know if you can hear me okay and see me. My name is Christina Nietzsche and today I am uh, filling in for Blue Eddy. So I'm excited about that. We've got a lot of great pieces of equipment. Uh, actually, I'm gonna mute this a little bit. It looks like uh, I got a big TV screen behind me so I can see you guys in here. Okay. All right. So we're going to be going over um, some amazing power stations today. I, I literally have so many of them and I use them for lots of different reasons. We are going to be live on YouTube and Facebook. So let's see here. Say hello to me in the chat. You guys have me for about an hour today. So Let's take a look here. All right, we got the chat up. Awesome, awesome. All right, now I can see you guys, great. So, uh, hi Rome, hi Alan, how are you? a &S is saying greetings from West Tennessee, welcome. How's the weather there? How, how is the weather for everybody? Let me know. Chris Adams is here, hi, how are you? Only here for part of the night, have to drive to work. Well, you know what? Thank you for tuning in just even for a little bit of time, that means a lot to me. Perry is here. Hi, Perry. How are you? Not slim. Blake is here. Hi, Blake. How are you? <laughs> I like your name. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get started. I actually have uh, a lot to talk about today. We've got a lot of power stations and we've also got some solar panels. So uh, the first one that we're going to be talking about today is the EB3A, and that is actually the first Blue Eddy power station that I have ever gotten. That was my very first power station, and that is actually the one I'm going to, I'm actually going to go grab it. It's, it's focused right over there, so um, we're going to show you that real quick, and then I'm actually going to bring it over because that's going to be a little bit easier. The other ones we're going to leave over there, so I'm going to go grab it. Um, but I can talk about it a little bit first. So while it's up on the screen, I'm going to bring the chat over here. And of course, if you guys have questions, just let me know. So we're going to chat about the blue Eddie that we see right here first. Great weather, much cooler. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Shout out from Lethbridge, Alberta, 21 degrees today. Wow. Alan has cooked his lunch on trips with the blue Eddie power station. So, okay. So this right here is 600 Watts. This is able to power up to 600 watts. Obviously, you don't want to go to the max. Um, it's, you know, you want to definitely be making sure you're not, you're not, it's not going to let you completely max out. So there's something to keep in mind. It is going to give you a 1200 watt surge. So basically, when you plug in your appliances, you're going to get a little bit of, little bit of a power surge. That's actually going to cover this. Uh, that's going to cover those appliances. So you do have the DC output right here. You can actually plug this in and charge it with cigarette lighter adapter. You can plug it in through wall adapter or wall, and you can also plug it in through your, you can ch actually charge it with, and I'll show you, um, I actually have those over there. So I'll show those to you in a little bit. We'll move those over. We've got a lot, a lot of, a lot that you, I guess you can't, you can't see right now, but um, so we've got 220 volts right here, and these are the three prongs. Each section, even though you can, you can actually control this with the Blue Eddy app, which is really, really nice, a lot of the charging that I do with this machine in particular is going to be my smaller items. So things like, you know, it can do a hair dryer, uh, some lights, you know, just smaller appliances, things that are not going to be providing a lot of heat. The more heat you have, technically the more power it's going to suck up. So uh, you do have an LED flashlight right here, which is really nice. And there is a, on the back, actually I'm going to bring this over now so we got, so we can see. And I'll bring the chat over here with me. I think it's going to be a little bit easier for me to talk about this over here and kind of show you. Maybe do a little demonstration too. And I'm going to bring this maybe bring the, should I bring that back or should I leave it up there? We'll leave it. We'll leave it there for now. Okay. All right. 
And I will be checking in also. Uh, can I expand the capacity? So this one right here is, I do not believe this one in particular is actually expandable. So, but you can, uh, the, there are some ones that I do have back there that are actually, you can hook up to like, one of them you can hook up to two expansion batteries, which is really nice. Um, nine outputs, thank you, thank you. Hello from New Orleans, hello. 86 degrees with a heat index, index of 91. Sounds like Texas, I'm in Texas right now. <laughs> So, okay, one of the things that I do like charging with this, and I wonder if I actually have them. I don't know if I actually, oh, I do, I do. So this is awesome. Um, one of the things that I love to charge with the EB3A is my, but I'm gonna, I do need to turn this on. So this is actually a 15 watt wireless charging pad. So you can charge either your cell phones. Now, cell phones, here's the thing. Cell phones, if you have, like I have right here, I've got one of those magnetic phone cases. You do have to take this off because it will interfere. So if you're gonna sit it on there, just know that it's not gonna do anything unless you actually take that off. Um, Chris Adams, how are you, by the way? This is the one that I have charge my electronics uh, while dry camping, the mini LED rope. Oops. Ah. Uh, yeah, I like these too. Um, it's the this is a little bit different from the EB3. I'm sorry, the EB55, which I'll show you. The battery is going to be I'm not the battery, but the uh, flashlight is going to be on the back. But I'm going to go ahead and turn this section on here. You're going to see a screen come up, and this is going to give you the input and the watts. It's going to give you the percentage right here, and it's also going to give you the output. So. Let me see if I can get this. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now you guys can't see, but like, you know how when you turn on or when you plug in your AirPods, you're going to see that little light. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but let me know if you guys can see that. And it will go away eventually, but that just goes to show you that it is charging, which is really nice. Um, the handle, the handle is great. This is definitely a very portable. This is going to be the one that I take with me in the car for emergencies. Like let's say I'm driving, my sister lives in San Antonio. So, uh, this would be something that I take for emergencies just in case something happens. Uh, let's see here. Hey Joe, how are you? What was that? Facebook is not working. Okay. I can check and see if I can see the chat in Facebook. Let me take a look. I don't see anything on Facebook. Okay, don't see anything on Facebook, so we'll, we're gonna roll with this for now. Um, okay, so this right here. Now this is an, another thing that I do charge with this is one thing to note, and this is really important, and I just, a lot of what I do is very much trial and error. I, while I do like manuals and I will refer to a manual, which I think is definitely very important. Um, you can even go to Blue Eddie's website and download and look at all of their manuals. Even, um, you don't even have to purchase them. You can actually just look at their manuals, which is really cool because you could, because you can actually get a feel for, you know, what the product offers. And I think that's really cool. But you enjoy your EB3A Knox? That's really good. Yeah, there. It's honestly, it's a great price point, which I love. But um, so this is going to have. So this is, you're going to be able to charge your cell phone through another way too. And I do want to talk about that because the output right here, it's not a fast charge. So if you're using this just to charge your phone, it's not going to charge it fast like with a lightning cable, like with Apple's lightning cable. So just something to keep in mind. However, if you do have one of those lightning cables, let me see if I have a lightning cable. I think I might, let me double check. I might, yeah, yeah, I do have one. So, okay, I got a couple things here we can test out. All right, so take a look. Ermi said, I recently had a power brown a power brownout in my area. I hooked up my EB3 to my TV modem 
and Wi-Fi router. I also connected my refrigerator to the AC200 Max. Love the AC200 Max. Everything was fine during the four hour outage. So that's really good to know. And Irving, we in, in Texas about, I think it was about three years ago, we had a really severe power outage in Texas. Um, and it was really bad. Like we, I could not make my coffee and that is not good for this household. I just want to let you know that it's not, it's not good for Christina to have, to not have her coffee in the morning. That's like, that's how I kind of get ready for my day. I drink a black cup of coffee and there's no conversation going on before the coffee is drink before I'm done drinking the coffee. So, um, okay. So if you do want to charge with, if you do want to charge with lightning, if you want to charge your phone with the lightning cable, you can. So let me go ahead and plug this in here. You've got the USB C hundred Watts right here and you can, let me make sure I have this area plugged in. Yes. And so there we go. Charging. So you can, um, you can actually control this with an app. The blue blue Eddie actually has a really cool app that you can install on iPhone or Android. And you can actually turn each section on, which is really nice. So it just makes it really convenient. And I will say this, like not all power stations are able to be controlled with an app. So I love that blue Eddie is definitely really like top notch. Um, and they are really good quality. One thing you, you don't want to do is yes, these are very durable, but you certainly don't want to, you know, sit these out in the rain. That's not what they're meant for. Um, definitely make sure you have, if you're out camping, make sure that you have this protected. So, um, it can handle a little splash here and there, but nothing like you don't want rain pouring down on it. That's very, very important to note. So, uh, so yeah, so if you want to charge it with lightning, if you want to charge it fast, you, you're going to have to plug it in. This is not going to do it. Um, so it's pretty much just the kind of like charge. It's a very slow charge and, um, that's just something to keep in mind, but Jennifer Lude is in the house. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. I really do appreciate that. I really do. You guys have no idea how I love seeing, I love seeing all the new faces here. And even some of the people that, um, that I saw last time on, uh, when I was, when I was on Blue Eddie, looks like we have a couple people that were here last time. Um, uh, but I definitely appreciate my, my family. You guys know who you are that, you know, I really, it means a lot to me. So, uh, okay. So another thing too, is if you're, if you want to charge like your Apple watch right here, you can do that as well. So you have two USB A's, which is really nice. And there we go. Can you guys see that? The little lightning thing showing that it's charging. Nice. So this is good. Like I said, it's good for multiple different things, laptops, um, you know, and I believe there were some people in here that chimed in on, uh, Irving said that he was using it for his Wi-Fi, his TV, his modem. Uh, we are supposed to be getting a really bad winter this year. I'm hoping it's not as bad as the outage that we had in Texas three years ago. That was pretty bad. Um, yeah, I, the power was out for like four days. That was actually during the time that we didn't have any Blue Eddy power stations and it really wasn't a good feel. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was pretty bad. Couldn't cook any food. None of that stuff. It was definitely bad. So, all right. And then the cool thing too, is that you can see like the output and the inputs going on as you plug things in here. So I'm going to show you the next, uh, power station. I didn't realize, wow, I'm, I've been talking about this one for quite some time. So Let's talk about the other one. I'm going to put this back over there and I'm going to bring you guys over here so I can see the chat. And we're going to chat about some of the other ones. So Mr. Mod's going to probably put the camera back over there and then we'll talk about the next thing right here. So um, I will take this off so you can actually see. I'm going to bring this back just a little bit. And of course, if you guys have questions, just let me know. 
Oh, this one right here, Mr. Mod. This is actually the newer one that we got. I'm going to pull it out so you guys can see. Um, it's the AC200, I'm sorry, the AC60. So this is uh, 60 watts too, but you're going to notice that it actually has these type of prongs right here. So you've got your 120, 600 watts, 600 watt outputs. So these are going to handle, it's going to handle a little bit more, a little bit more load on the AC outputs right here. Just something to keep in mind. Um, you've got a heavier duty plug right here. So this can actually handle, uh, let's see here. I'm going to show you guys a couple other things too. I'm going to, these are kind of hard to see. I don't know if these are able to be picked up on the camera, but these are USB C's hundred, hundred Watts. USB-C, I'm sorry, U, USB-A's, and then you've got your, you've got one right there. That's your USB-C, and then you've got your USB-A's there. So very similar. Um, this can also be charged. You can actually turn the power button on. Okay, Mr. Mott's like, turn the power button on. There we go. So we've got about, oh, okay, we're about 48% right now. Now, this one right here also has, it's a heavier handle, and we also still have the 15 watt, but here's the handle right here. This is a more heavy duty handle, and this is going to weigh a little bit more than the EB3A, just something to keep in mind. Um, there is a rubber grip right here, which is really nice. You can, again, you can charge this with cigarette letter adapter, you can charge it with wall outlet, um, you can also charge this with a... Um, with the solar panels over there, and I will show you that. We've got little little Luna walking around, and if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. So, all right. So this one also, I do want to mention this one does have the twelve hundred watt power surge as well. So this is going to protect, this is, you know, obviously going to, if you, when you plug all of your stuff in that initial power surge that you're going to get from any type of appliance, that's going to help cover that as well. Um, which you definitely need for sure. And let me let's see here. This has got a six year warranty, which is really, really nice. They will definitely last you a long time for sure. So just to give you guys some examples on this, and let me put that back down. So just to give you guys some examples, this is going to cover a 12 watt lamp, about 28 hours. And going back to what Irving was talking about, this one in particular will actually cover 34 hours of a Wi-Fi router, which is amazing. And then five hours of a laptop, super nice. Um, 40 minutes of like a hot kettle that's at like around 500 watts. And just to keep in mind, these are going to be estimates. If you have anything else plugged into here, it is a possibility that's obviously going to be taking away because if you have multiple things plugged in here, you know, it can take away. So these are going to be estimates. Now, charge, you do want to charge this unit at 80%. They roughly say every three to six months for long-term storage. So, you know, if you're just kind of like letting this sit around, then obviously you still want to keep it maintained. The AC should be good for when the power, the AC 60 should be good for when the power goes out the cooking. Cooking, yes, yes, yes. Little, little bits of cooking here and there. I do need to, I need to get, um, I need to get like a mini, one of those mini stoves one of those portable stoves. I need to get one of those just to be on the safe side for when the power goes out. But um, I believe, I believe this would actually cover a little bit. This will, this will actually cover just a little bit of cooking in the Instant Pot. Not only on certain settings though. I have actually tested that out only on certain settings. It's not going to cover um, like the super high pressure. So just something to keep in mind. I don't know if you, any of you have tried to cook with these before, but uh, it's actually pretty fun. 
The bottom one we have is pretty new. Okay. So I'm going to show you, um, Rome says, all I need, bro, is coffee and muffins. <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to show you the, the bottom one right here. This is actually the B80 expansion battery. Okay. We've actually got it plugged into the AC60 right here, just so you guys can actually see. Um, but that's actually what that is for. And I am actually going to, hold on a second here, just hone, getting you guys a little bit of a better view there. Okay. So you can plug that, you can actually attach two units to the AC60. So those are expandable. Somebody was asking if they were expandable. So yes, that one is expandable. The EB3A is not expandable. Yeah, Blake was wrong. Huh? Blake was wrong. Oh. Oh, he said, what was he saying? I don't know. Some about some cable or something. He didn't oh, know I don't know. Um, all right, let me catch up with the chat here. Mr. Mod, now I want, oh, he wants um, carrot cake muffins. I will make some carrot cake muffins for sure. <laughs> okay. All right, so this one right here, it's got, oh, let's see here. Plugging that in, 200 watt max. The battery itself has over 3,000 cycles, which is really nice. And if anybody's wondering the weight, this is about 21, 21 pounds, a little over 21 pounds. This one right here is, I believe, 18, a little over 18 pounds. So not too bad. Uh, these are also, by the way, these would be great for traveling as well. These are still within the range of like easy because of the handles and stuff. Now, when we get into, uh, I do have another travel one. If you're looking at, you know, just a little bit more like a 700 watt, um, which is the EB55. So we'll roll over to the EB55 so I can show you guys that. And I'm going to head over here so I can show you guys that. Get you guys a little bit of a close up here. And yeah, we'll do, we'll definitely do that for sure. Oh, there's a moth in here. I was wondering what my dog was doing. She's like chasing after something and it's a moth. Okay, so this is the EB55. This is going to be 700 watts. It's a step above. And notice that you're going to have four... AC output right here. So you're going to be able to plug in a little bit more. It's going to handle a little bit more here. It still has that 1500 watt right here. I'm sorry. The, <laughs> it still has the 15 watt output right here, the wireless charger. So got the nice handle right here. Now the flashlight is on the back. So this one in particular has got the flashlight on the back. This whole thing is actually a flashlight. Great for emergencies. In fact, now that I have this one, this one's probably going to be the one that I will travel with. Uh, let me check the chat and see if we got any. Travel Divas is here. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. How are you? So that one right there also you can plug in, um, you know, so things like this. So you do have one USB-C right here. And then you've got four USB A's. So laptop, any other type of wireless device you can do, uh, you can plug in your charger for your Apple watch, um, computer, laptop, all that good stuff. Uh, and this, yes, this can be controlled with the, the Blue Eddy app. So make sure you download that because it's definitely going to make it super convenient. Now, as far as, um, as far as what they recommend, for, you can certainly use this right here for, I would use this probably for the EB3A. This right here, I'm going to actually, well, yeah, I'll just take you guys back a little bit. I'll just pull it back. So this is the smaller one. I do have the EB, what Mr. Mod? Take it to the table. I mean, I, I could, I could take it to the table. We'll take it to the table for you guys. 
So this is actually newer. I'm going to I'm going to actually open it up and show you guys in just a second. What um which oh what's the price? Uh so RJ, which one are you referring to? Let us know cuz we've covered quite a bit and I just want to make sure I'm answering I'm answering you correctly. Let me know which one you want to know the price for. And it's going to be on the Blue Eddy website, Mr. Mod. So it's on the Blue Eddy website. It's actually Blue Eddy Power. And I'll let you know also if there's any deals or anything. I know sometimes they have some good deals. So let's take a look here. Yeah, just let me know which one you're referring to. Um, the 700 watt, what's the price for the 700 watt? That's the EB55. So the EB55, the EB55 right now is $399. It's, uh, that's actually really good. You can get the PV120 solar panel with it for $648. Yeah, it's $399. So this solar panel right here, this is actually our newer solar panel. Um, it's a smaller one. And I'm actually going to go over that one in just a second with you guys. Yeah, let me know if you guys have questions. That's what we're here for. So this is the PV120. So... What, Mr. Mod? 120 watts, 279. So there is, you, okay, so if you go to Blue Eddy, you can actually get a combo. You can actually get the EB55 with the solar panel, with this solar panel, the one, the PV120, for 648 right now. So they're actually discounting it over $100. Let me head back over to this chat here just to make sure I'm answering all these questions. You're absolutely welcome. Thank you so much for asking, RJ. I appreciate that. Um, so this, so again, this would be good for the smaller power stations. This is actually where you would plug it into. And it does have a kickstand, so you can adjust the kickstand, which is really nice. So this comes out, and then you can adjust it depending on how, how you're angling it at the sun. Charging times are always going to vary. I hate to give charging times just because they will vary. They can vary anywhere between four to eight hours or even less, depending on the sun and depending on how, you know, how much you need to actually get charged. But they are very heavy duty, and I do love that. Don't set these out in the rain. Make sure they're not, they're, they, you can, they can get splashed or something by accident, but not poured on and certainly not thrown in the water. So just treat these nicely. They, they are heavy duty, but you still, you know, obviously want to take care of them. And that's my little dog Luna over there. She's our little mascot for the day. <laughs> um, we're going to head over to the, actually we're going to head over to this one. Let's, let's talk about this one right here. This is a newer one. This is the ACE. This is, well, this is my newer one. It's the AC, here it is right here, the AC 180. It's an 18, 1800 watt power station. And I'm actually going to give you the price on that too. So, oops. So the AC 180, that right now is actually on a sale on Blue Eddy. So it's $7.99. It's actually discounted. It was $9.99 and that is currently discounted at $7.99. So you've just been busy with family stuff. Oh, I totally understand Travel Divas. I, I totally understand. Life is kind of crazy. Um, all right. So let's talk about this one. So I already told you it's 1800 watts AC output. 
It's got a 2700 watt power lifting mode. It's got 11 output ports for multiple devices, and you can actually charge it through AC, solar panels, either your cigarette lighter adapter in your car, or even a generator, which is really nice. Um, it's got smart control, and you can actually monitor it with the Blue Eddy app, just like all of the other ones, which is really nice. Uh, this does charge 0 to 80, recharging in 45 minutes with 1440-watt AC input. And I will tell you, this is definitely, these type, these right here, I tend to use these machines, the bigger ones, a little bit more because I can actually cook with these, with like my instant pots and I can do my, I can actually brew my coffee with this as well. Um, so I can do a little bit more. We've got our little, we've actually got our sign right here plugged into this. So I don't know, let me pull this back just a little bit so you guys can see it. Actually, oh, you know what? I need to go up a little bit. So let me show you this. Um, oh, here we go. So take a look. Yeah, so I have that plugged in. It's a light. It's kind of hard to pick up. But that's what we have plugged into there. Just in case you guys were wondering. Obviously, take a look and see. Yeah, I mean, it's not even... <laughs> we're at 99 right now. It's not really even pulling much at all. We're only at... We're actually... You, you can see it really didn't take much. And this has been on for quite some time. The sign was on for quite some time. Um, okay, so there is underneath here, there is a 15 watt uh, out, uh, output as far as in wireless charging pad. So you get, again, you can charge a cell phone with this. And these do have, so the bigger ones are gonna have these heavy duty handles and you're gonna need this because this is definitely gonna be heavier. This, uh, this is, you can obviously, you know, as far as in like, you know, quick trips and stuff like that, I like to use the smaller ones with the handles, but you can certainly take this out with you for like the longer trips, camping, all that good stuff. Um, let me check the chat and see if we have any questions. Ace. Oh, hey. S. Clark says AC 180 is the best. My favorite of multiple Blue Eddies that I own. Buy one now. You won't regret it. <laughs> it's definitely good. And the price is actually really good too. It's, um, it was $9.99. It's on sale for $7.99 right now on the Blue Eddie website. So they are actually having a sale on this. Um, and that's actually a, that's a very good price for that. So fast recharge in a pinch. Absolutely. All right, um, let me see here. Let me check uh, the next thing I wanted to chat about with you guys. Um, I do have a B230 expansion battery. I also have the AC200 Max that I'm going to be going over with you guys as well. And uh, the PV200 solar panels, they're the bigger solar panels. They're the ones that you're going to use for that machine right there, the, the AC180. And also the AC200 Max as well. If you're wondering what that noise is, that's my dog, Luna. She's, um, she's out drinking some water. So I'm going to see if this link will work for Facebook. If it's, I'm going to click on it again. See, if, okay. Looks like it's, it's not going in there. Okay. All right. Well, um, Joe says, I almost bought the 180, but went ahead and bought the 200 max. Well, the 200 max is going to give you a little bit more wattage. It's, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's a great machine. I'm going to see, let me check the price on this for you guys. We'll take a look and see if there's any sales, AC 200 max. Um, I use the AC 200 max a lot for a lot of demonstrations when I go live on other channels. Um, I've cooked with it multiple times. We have put lit, uh, we actually lit our Christmas tree up with it last year. So AC 200 max, you can charge, you can actually power a refrigerator for like six to eight hours, depending on the output of your refrigerator, um, washer and dryer, which is really cool. Okay. Let me take a look here. Okay. So the AC, 200 max you can hook up to two expansion batteries and we actually have those two hooked up to it right there so you can see that i'll i'll bring you over there i'll get you a little close up in just a second so you guys can see that yes rome that's right you have it christina nietzsche blue is your color is it thank you thank you 
Um, okay. So it's $15.99 right now. And we're going to head over there and we're going to chat a little bit about it. And yes, you could also control this with the solar panel. Now this is going to give you 2,200 Watts, which is amazing. Um, and if you guys have any questions, just let me know. So that's going to, we're going to head over there now. Mr. Mod's just kind of, uh, my cameraman, the love of my life. He's, uh, controlling the camera for us. So he's great. What will we do without him? I don't know what we would do without him. <laughs> All right, there we go. AC 200 max right there. Okay. 2200 Watts. It will cover a 4,800 watt surge, which is really nice. And the battery is 3,500 plus life cycles up to 80%, up to 80% charge. Now there is seven ways to charge this. So obviously with AC, solar, uh, cigarette lighter adapter in the car, generator, um, even uh, battery, and you can even do a dual AC plus solar panel charging, which will kind of speed up the process a little bit. Um, this does have a 900 watt max solar output and a 1400 watt max fast dual charging with solar and AC adapter. So you can, like I said before, you can control this with the Blue Eddy app, which is really, really nice. And just to give you an example, um, they do list some examples on their website if you guys are interested in checking it out. Um, coffee maker, 1.2 hours. I don't think I would need to run my coffee maker um, an hour and a half, but just, hey, just in case, just in case you feel like doing that, you can do it. Um, <laughs> uh, electric grill, one and a half hours. Refrigerator, 10 hours. Okay, so I stand corrected, but I will tell you this. It really depends on the refrigerator. I have a very, I have a very large refrigerator and it has a lot of fancy stuff. Plus it has a screen on it. So my refrigerator is not, it's not going to last 10 hours. It's just not. Um, but a lot of refrigerators will last 10 hours. Um, it just depends on the Watts that your refrigerator is pulling. So just something to keep in mind. These are averages. These are estimates. Um, air conditioning, uh, a 5,000 BTU unit, one to four hours. See, it's a, it's a generalization here. Um, lights, um, 150 hours plus at 10 Watts. So this, this just gives you some examples on what this machine can handle. Now I am not lifting this up, but on the top here, there's actually two, um, 15 watt wireless charging pads. So what Oh, Mr. Mod's going to put the camera up. He's so nice. He's so nice. Um, S. Clark says B230 can recharge your AC 180. Great backup. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. Thank you. There you go. There's the wireless charging pads right there. The two that I would, the two that, because you can actually simultaneously charge like your AirPods and also your phone at the same time, which is really nice. Now, this is very heavy, which is why it has these heavy duty handles right here. Um, but you've got your USB A and your USB C's. There's your USB C right there. And then it's got four USB A's. Um, okay, so let's turn. This is actually a touch screen. I do want to mention that because I think that's really cool. Not all of them are touch screens. Oh, um, S. Clark is saying thank you to you. So thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, there you go. That's where you would plug in your refrigerator. And I do like the fact, I really do like the fact that these have these protection and it's something so silly, I know, but, uh, when you're going out, when you're camping, this is just going to protect this as you're not using it. And it's going to keep the dust out too, which is really nice. I'm going to get you a little side view so you can see this. These are the B230 expansion batteries. So essentially you can create over 6,000 Watts of power when you connect the two of these really nice. Um, so just something to keep in mind. I mean, the B230s, we can head over to the B230s. Let me see if there's a deal on the B230s. I'm going to give you guys a price. Oh, let's see here. B230. Let me take a look and I'll let you guys know. B230. Oh, it is. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mod. So it is on deal right now. Very nice. Uh, they were, they're marked down. So they were $12.99 and now they're, um, $1,099. So we do have a little bit of a deal on Blue Eddy. 
I would definitely say if you are one of those, um, if you're in one of those states where they have said, where they've predicted really bad storms this year, just like here in Texas, I would definitely recommend taking advantage of the deals that they have going on on Blue Eddy, um, only because I was really in a bad situation when the power went out uh, three years ago when we didn't have any power stations. So I can tell you, I can attest to these being super valuable firsthand. They're, they've absolutely been amazing. You have the B230, Jennifer. Wow, that's amazing. That's, that's a, it's very valuable too. So what are you using your B230 with? Um, not the power station. Oh, and you don't, okay, so you don't have the power station. You need the, you need the power station. So Irving said, I tested my AC200 Max when it first arrived. I, um, I ran my refrigerator 24 hours in the AC200. Wow. The battery had 7% left. Your refrigerator doesn't run the compressor full time. That is really good to know. And that is insane. 24 hours. Wow. That is like, that's actually really, really impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted though to check out, um, I am tempted to try to, to test the limits on my own refrigerator, but we'll, we'll wait till we kind of need to do that. Hopefully, hopefully we won't need to do that, but, um, that, that is very, very impressive. <laughs> uh, I love the fact that you guys are kind of like chiming in and let me know if there's anyone in the chat, like, what are you, what is your favorite Blue Eddy? And what are you guys using for? Like, what do you use your Blue Eddy for the most? I would say the most for me is uh, when I, so this is going to sound totally, totally ridiculous, but I'm just going to be upfront with you. So I, I use the EB55. The, no, I don't know. It's the EB3A. I use the EB3A the most. And I actually use it every day for the ring light when I put my makeup on. <laughs> so I'm not very girly, but you know, but, but that, but that kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. So that's what I, that's what I use it for every single day. And then also when I go live on like other channels and stuff like that, I will use the AC 200 max the most on as far as in like cooking and stuff like that, just for like demonstrations, just so people can see like just how powerful they are. And Miss Luna, you're going to have to wait. I know you don't, you, you can actually wait. She's, she needs to be patient. She's, um, they already went out just so you guys know. What do you need, miss? Come, come here. Come say hi to everybody. Come say hi to everybody. Ramblin' Bob is here. Hi, Ramblin' Bob. We've got Miss Luna, my little dog, Luna. I'm actually going to get up and we're chatting about, um, let me see. I just want to check. I'm going to check a couple prices here too, just to see. I don't know if I went over everything price-wise with you guys. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I know we run over a lot so far. Good to see you back, by the way, Rambling Bob. I remember you from the last time when I was on here. Um, so S. Clark says, powering my travel fridge without breaking a sweat, AC 180 plus B230, great combo. I love it. I love it. Hey, Ace, how are you? Um, okay, let me check my little lineup here. Ah, I know what I want to go over with you guys, and I do want to check the price for this just because I want to see if there's any type of discount going on. So um, I'm actually looking at the the ACE, the, I'm sorry, the PV 200 solar panel, which is the one, I think one of the things that I haven't gone over with you. I've got two of those. I would recommend two for your AC 200 max and even your AC 180, but definitely for the AC 200 max. Um, all right. PV 200. Let me take a look. Okay. Oh, there is a deal. Okay. So there's a little deal here, a little deal. Um, how are you ACE, by the way, how are you doing? Hopefully everybody's getting a little cooler. We actually, it's currently 81 here in Texas. And I will tell you, that's a record for, for this summer. It has been 95 all the way till like 10 PM here, pretty much. Um, and beyond it's, it's been pretty bad. So we had a little rain and that's actually helped out dramatically. Uh, we're supposed to be having like nice, cool weather and, then it's predicted that we're going to have a really bad storm, really bad winter storms this year. 
Anybody else getting that prediction? Um, they, they said it's going to be bad in Texas. But uh, not to get sidetracked here, so the PV200 solar panel is on a little deal. It's um, got a 200-watt output, and it's actually went from 499 to 449 So we've got just a little bit of a discount, and I think any little bit of a discount is going to help us. So I'm going to pull that out and show you guys one of them. No need to pull out the two of them. Not the people I'm used to. Joe says, um, not the people I'm used to presenting. Wait, hold on a second. Did I miss something? <laughs> oh, not the people I'm used to presenting. Oh, because I'm here. Is, is that what you're referring to? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and I'm actually going to bring over. Well, yeah, I'll bring it over. I'll bring it over. We can do that. Miss Luna, come join us, and she's going to be the, the, the mascot for today. This is Miss Luna, and she's my little sweetheart. I've got two others in the room, but they're not going to come out right now. Let me grab one of these guys. We'll grab this one and bring this out. I'm going to actually probably bring it over here. I'll put it on the chair for you guys to see. I'm one of those people that is very much like very hands-on. Um... I like to, I'm not, I, I like to sit down. Don't get me wrong. Look at, look as Luna is actually looking at herself in the, in the TV right now, guys. That's what she's staring at. That's my baby. Yes, that's my baby. I have two more in that room over there. Um, but yeah, they, they would, it would be too chaotic with them. <laughs> but yes, that's Luna. Alan is saying hi to you, Luna. Um, okay, so this right here, this has got 200 watts output, and it is big. So I think I'm probably going to just go like this. I'm going to show you. We're going to pull it open so you guys can see. Lunavator, yes, I call her Lunavator. The PV200 is a very nice panel. It is, it is, Bob. And I love the fact, this, this is one of the things that I noticed right away with Blue Eddy, as far as in like, if you're looking at like competitors and stuff like that, Blue Eddy, their solar panels, their, their actual panel 